PSG are slight favourites going into this one, and ahead of it, we were able to talk to Ilkay Gundogan about the tie. With Paris, I think uh, we got an opponent that uh, is obviously a very tough team, uh, a lot of individual quality. Um, but I feel like this season also, especially, they made they made a big step also as a team. Um, they are growing, and uh, it's going to be a tough, uh, tough challenge challenge that we're going to face. But uh, but again, it's exciting. It's um, something that we should embrace, uh, that we should enjoy, and hopefully we can uh, transmit that into our performances. Ali, what do you think happens here? Uh, well, the first thing that I would do if I were Xavi is forget about this high line. And, and trying to play a high line against PSG and Kylian Mbappe is just asking for all sorts of issues and all sorts of trouble because you haven't been able to do it consistently against lesser teams in La Liga. The speed of Kylian Mbappe will kill the back line of Barcelona if you allow it to happen. So you got to put pressure on the ball and you cannot, cannot play a ridiculous high line, an irresponsible high line, because that invites trouble. If you're Barcelona, you have to control the pace of this game and you cannot depend on 1v1 situations. You don't want PSG in 1v1 situations with Mbappe on one side and Ousmane Dembele on the other side, who was inconsistent for Barcelona, but it happened to be that his last few months at Barcelona, when he wasn't injured, the guy was perhaps the only player in Barcelona that could break down people in 1v1 situations. So don't allow that to happen. You're Barcelona, you have to control the pace of the game through the midfield. Your passing has to be much better. And then you have to exploit the frailties of PSG defensively. And La Mina Mar has to be excellent. Robert Lewandowski has to score big goals. In the end, I'm going to pick Barcelona simply because it feels, it feels like... It, there is more of a concept of a group in Barcelona than there is at PSG. And while I agree with Gundogan that there seems to be some growth at PSG, I don't think it's quite enough. So let's get the PSG side of things with Jules. How confident are you for your PSG Jules? I, I, I don't think it's a bad draw. Uh, I won't lie. I don't think this Barca team has been great this season. They've been more underwhelming than not. Certainly, they don't have the consistency to play well for long period of time. So there, there are moments, of course, there are moments, especially individually. Lately, it's very much Lamine Yamal and, and nothing much. With I'm not sure about injuries and who's going to come back, if the young is going to be there, if Pedri could be there for the first leg, for the second leg. I don't know. But right now, this is a team that I think PSG can get at. And where I disagree with Ali, I think this is a much stronger collectively, collective unit for PSG than, than we've seen for a very long time, probably since the Laurent Blanc era. They, they have this this unit, and they're not perfect, of course, and you can look at the midfield with Zaire Emery, who's 17, turning 18 very soon, of Vitinha, who is still young and quite inexperienced, and whether it's Fabian Ruiz or Ugarte, and yeah, this is not a box office midfield, I get that, but it's a hard-working midfield, it's a midfield that more and more now knows exactly what to do, and then when you have the best player in the world in your team, plus on top of that, Dembele going back to Barcelona, for example, when you've got your own manager, Luis Enrique, going back to Barcelona as well, with everything that that means, and Luis Enrique is going to absolutely love going back to Barcelona in this current context, I think PSG have a really good chance. So, the second leg is in Barcelona at Mondrick. I'm not sure if that's a disadvantage or not, because Mondrick hasn't been really a fort rest this season, we have to be honest. I think it would be great. Again, I would have PSG slightly favourite, not much, but 55-45 again. But I think it's going to be a fantastic tie over two legs. Has Jules changed your mind, Ale? No, and, and, and I don't know what, what he's disagreeing with me about because I, I said that PSG are far better as a group now than they were before. I agree with him, actually. <laughs> okay. It's just not, not quite to the level that he sees this as okay. a team that can be... So I, I look at PSG as a team that is very, <laughs> very vulnerable to me. And I, I, if Barcelona were picking teams to play against, I know that there is, there is something to fear in the Mbappe and Dembele factor. I know that Xavi would fear that. But it, there are also things that Barcelona can do to affect the game of PSG that perhaps they couldn't do against a team like Manchester City. They would have, no, they would have zero chance against Manchester City. They would have difficulties against Arsenal. I don't know. I don't think they have an opportunity truly against Real Madrid. So of all the teams that they could have drawn... PSG is not the worst. Oh, so let's talk about their side of the bracket then, Frank, because obviously it's PSG Barca, Atleti and Borussia Dortmund. For you, a PSG the strongest side in that side of the bracket? 
I don't think so. Uh, after seeing uh, Atletico Madrid, uh, I think that um, they are the two favourites and I will put a little bit Atletico on top of it because of the experienced player that they have, because of the mentality that they have. And uh, if I see a, a semi-final between Atletico and Paris Saint-Germain, I think Paris Saint-Germain will struggle because of uh, um, the quality of, uh, of the squad and the, uh, how they, they think the game is going to cause problems to Paris Saint-Germain. I think Paris Saint-Germain is going to go through. He's, they are my favorites for Barcelona, against Barcelona because it's so much at stake. You know, we all thought that Paris Saint-Germain will play maybe Real Madrid, that we're going to see how Mbappe is going to behave. Will he be hated by the Real Madrid fans? He could be loved by the, uh, the Real Madrid fans if he hum humiliates the Blaugrana. And Luis Enrique comes back, Dembélé comes back. There are so much things that make me think that PSG is going to go through. And I, like all the, the pundits, think that uh, Atletico is going to go through against Dortmund. Therefore, I see Atletico going to the final. I see them more armed to, uh, to cope with all situations against Paris Saint-Germain. PSG or Barca? Who goes through? Barca. OK. Yeah. I, I, I think a PSG, and all I can think of is if Mbappé turns up, you've got a chance, and if he doesn't, you don't have a chance. Simple as that. 